Welcome to WTDC 17 here in Buenos Aires in Argentina, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Patrick Niroshema, who is the Director General of the Rwandan Utilities Regulatory Authority, RURA. Patrick, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about the overall impact of ICTs uh, in Rwanda's socio-economic development. Perhaps you could give us a little bit of an insight into that. Uh, Rwanda's journey over the last 17 years has been a remarkable story of growth. And this growth has first and foremost been hinged on ICT development. Uh, Rwanda's vision 2020 from year 2000 to 2020 has been uh, one with ICT at the center of the transformation journey. And we've seen uh, a tripling of the GDP of the country. We've seen uh, growth in every single sector. And ICT has been at the center of that. You cannot separate ICT from Rwanda's uh, story of growth. And what about uh, the major challenges and obstacles? What would you say the major challenges and obstacles are facing uh, the use of ICTs, uh, particularly in the attainment of the UN Sustainable Development Goals for 2030? Um, first, I would like to say that Rwanda was among the countries that attained the targets for uh, Millennium Development Goals, and, and ICT played a key role in that. And looking into the future with SDGs, uh, the African Center uh, for, uh, for SDGs is actually established in Kigali. Um, and again, ICT is going to play a key role. And I don't see how you can be able to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals without ICT playing a key role, one, in being able to collect data, uh, be able to do policies that are data-driven, and you're able to monitor uh, the impact of the different initiatives, uh, again, driven by uh, ICT and technology in general. So I don't see really the SDGs being achieved without uh, relying on ICTs to do that. In what ways do you think, uh, I mean, here you're, you hear it, obviously, in an ITU event, we see Rwanda regularly uh, joining us in, in many events around the globe. In what way do you think that uh, Rwanda has benefited with its association with ITU? Rwanda's association with ITU uh, has been quite a long and uh, progressive one. I, it starts back in, two, in 1994 when we had a genocide. And at that time, there was a, a potential conference in Japan, and Rwanda was not present because we were in the middle of uh, a devastating war. And at that time, the Planport Conference actually made a resolution through which Rwanda was supported in uh, the post-genocide uh, reconstruction. IT, ITU, together with the government of Rwanda, was able to put infrastructure in place and restore communication infrastructure in the country. From that point forward, we've had a very strong relationship between Rwanda and ITU. We had the 2007 Connect Africa Summit, which provided leadership in bridging uh, connectivity gaps across the continent and saw billions of dollars worth of investment subsequent to this. And uh, from 2013, again, ITU and the government of Rwanda have been working together to drive a Transform Africa agenda, again, leveraging ICT for Africa's development. So the partnership between Rwanda and ITU has not only impacted Rwanda, but also impacted the whole continent. Now, we're going to be hearing a lot of great conversation here over the next couple of weeks. I just wanted to find out from you, what concrete actions do you hope will come from WTDC 17? I think uh, WTDC 17 uh, needs to shift the conversation. Uh, we need to shift from addressing questions of the past and present to looking at present and future type of challenges, uh, whether it's at a policy level, or regulatory level. Uh, we see tremendous growth in technology, in big data, IOTs, uh, artificial intelligence. All these bring questions of policy, regulation. Uh, they call for better coordination and, uh, and harmonization across the globe so that we can ensure that the benefits of all these new technologies can impact all of humanity and that we can see equitable growth across the continent and across the world. So we look forward to tangible outcomes from WTDC 17. Great words, Patrick and Yushemba. Thank you very much indeed for joining us today and we wish you the best of luck for the, the rest of the conference. Thank you very much. I appreciate the conversation. Thank you. Thank you.